On today's episode of Walkabout RV Adventures, we take a trip out to Alligator Reef and spend the afternoon at Al Marada Sandbar. Come with us and enjoy what we experienced. Hey everybody, welcome back. So we've decided today is Alligator Reef Day. We've just chartered a boat and we're gonna head out to the reef and we're gonna see what's out there, do some snorkeling and then stop by the sandbar on the way back in. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty to see. Hey everybody, so we're about probably two miles now from Alligator Reef and already I'm seeing the difference in the water. Check this out. Hi. Isn't that gorgeous? Hi. The fam. Hi. And our friends, hey. Greg Lauren and the Gregory house. and Geneva. I got it right. You can see the lighthouse. You see the lighthouse there in the distance, so we're heading that way. All right, we've made it here. It's a little rough, it's a little overcast, but we're still gonna make the best of it. The waters here is great, the kids are already in, and we're just gonna, let's just go for a swim. I mean, why not? Woo! Now time for some fun facts. Alligator Reef is named after the USS Alligator which ran aground in 1822. The ship was constructed in 1820 in the Boston Naval Yard. Its primary function at that time was to be an anti-slave ship. In 1822 it went on to its second tour and sailed from Boston to the West Indies to combat piracy in the Caribbean. The captain of the ship got word in November that an American schooner had been taken by a group of pirates. So the USS Alligator, then captained by Lieutenant Allen, decided she would attempt to regain control of the schooner and was very successful. However, the captain was mortally wounded during this fight. Before dawn the following morning, the ship ran hard aground on what is now known as Alligator Reef. She could not be refloated, so on November 23rd, the crew decided to set fire to the ship and she blew up and ended her career in the USS fleet. It should be known, Alligator Reef does not have any alligators. This is a very big misconception. Okay guys, we're just pulling out of Alligator Reef. We've had a lot of fun here, and now we're gonna go and check out a shipwreck. Stay tuned. We believe this is where the USS Alligator ran aground. However, we were not successful in finding it. Sad face. Here we are, pulling into the uh, Isle Marata Samba. A lot of boats anchored down here, and there is a food truck. We all having fun? Here we are, at the sandbar, just walking around. Look at all these boats just anchored down here. We're heading over to this food truck because we're all starving. So this is the food truck, this is what they have to offer. What a great venture, these guys just push this barge out here every day on the sandbar, serving up nice food for people just hanging out here. Check this out. Oh, 
Make sure if you're down by the sandbar, you come and check these guys out. This is amazing. So I turned around and I found all of these kids with their bums in the air. Hi! <laughs> We're looking for pieces of coral that have hermit crabs in it. Because we did get oh, some. Shell! And then this one kicked it out of my hands. And we found a lot of shells. And it's really cool. recommended something that you do hire a boat find someone with a boat and come down and enjoy it for the day because it's exactly what we did best day ever and we're gonna do it again sometime soon you best believe we are so we're about to wrap up here at the sandbar the day has been amazing i mean let's be honest alligator reef was even with the weather a little nasty it was still really really cool the water was nice and clear we saw fish we saw conch live conch shells we saw shark well it was a, a nurse shark so nothing too nasty not like a great white um, we saw a manta ray and it was just all in all a great time so we hope you've really enjoyed what we've had to show you on this trip and if you're down here in the keys make sure you give it a go Get out to Alligator Reef, get out to the Sandbar and Isle Marata, and just have yourselves a good old time. I'm gonna give two shout outs today. One is to A1 Water Sports. A1 Water Sports has provided us with the boat today. And the other is to the Pincho Barge because never in a million years did I think I was gonna come to a sandbar and have food from a food truck out in the open ocean. That was just phenomenal. So we hope you've enjoyed the time here and the time we had at Alligator Reef and the Sandbar. And as well, we've got some loud boats going, so there's get all kinds of boats here, speed boats, all the good stuff that makes a lot of noise. All right, so the loud boat has left, so we can finish what we we're gonna say. And as I said, we hope you've enjoyed your journey with us today. As I said, Alligator Reef was very spectacular. The sandbar, never thought I'd be standing on a sandbar drinking a beer with a whole bunch of other boats. So, we just really want to portray the experience we've had. So, here's the crew, the crew of the entire day, right here. And until next time, let's, let's go, go walkabout! Walk about. We hope you enjoyed our video today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Until next time, let's go walkabout.